everyone welcome back this is monument before we get this video started i'd like to declare that this video is not financial advice this video is strictly for entertainment purposes and for educational purposes now before we get this video started the big headline is that tesla semi fast charging system could be wireless which means that the tesla semi trucks could be wirelessly charged in the future now at first glance you might be thinking that's overly complicated but the thing to understand is that electric vehicles charges are going to become a lot busier in the future we're talking in the next two years five years and eventually 10 years they will become extremely extremely busy you think about the average gas station it's usually busy or moderately busy but people can fill their car with gas in under five minutes but an electric vehicle can take up to half an hour an hour an hour and a half depending on how much you'd like to fill your vehicle maybe you're filling it to 50 percent 70 percent maybe 80 percent or 100 percent but it takes a lot more time to charge an electric vehicle than to fill your car with petrol this means a few things we'll need a lot more electric chargers for electric vehicles and even by some miracle that we did have an equal amount of electric chargers equally to petrol stations, I still think we'll need a lot more. So this puts Tesla and other EV manufacturers in a unique position. Do you build your vehicles to be more easily charged anywhere at any given point? The easy answer would be yes. But Tesla and other EV companies are huge companies. These decisions have huge ramifications. These decisions could affect the way the vehicles are being built. They could affect the rate of which the vehicles are built. They could affect the costs and especially safety. If these electric vehicles are charged in the incorrect manner, this could, this could incur serious damage to the vehicles themselves and the passengers in the vehicle. Now, normal wireless charging is starting to become popular for smartphones and for smartwatches and for your earplugs. But what you have to remember is that electric vehicles are completely different, completely different. And we haven't been developing electric vehicles long enough to fully understand how they will behave and how they will interact as a wirelessly charged vehicle. So is this possible? Well, it would be nice if every vehicle, every EV vehicle pulls up to a parking lot in your supermarket or at a truck stop, wherever it is that you want to park, even temporarily parking or at your home. It would be really nice that underneath the vehicle, there's already a charging station wirelessly charging your vehicle. Now this will solve the problem of having hundreds of thousands of superchargers. This will help relieve the problem because the charging is now embedded in the road itself, in the tarmac, in the parking space itself. There doesn't have to be a local hub. Everything can be run on the ground. So this is what's been hinted at by the media and by a company that's named Wave. Now Rave is an increment for wireless advanced vehicle electrification. They make wireless charges for electric vehicles basically. And I've been asked a number of times, especially on this YouTube channel, if companies like Arrival will have wireless charging in their vehicle. And the honest answer is that I haven't had any information on that subject. But these things, they are on the minds of these companies. But it's a lot more difficult to implement these designs than it is to theorize them. Theorizing these ideas are amazing. It's great. This is how we innovate. This is how we create new technology. And it's good to think about these innovations and theorize them. But at the same time, we must be realistic. At this moment, we are slowly transitioning to an electric car world and an electric vehicle world. It's important to take that step steady and slowly because we're still getting our head around the technology. We're still understanding the technology. It's not the type of technology that we fully mastered. In fact, it's so difficult that a lot of people are starting to criticize electric vehicle makers. So this is where it gets interesting with Wave and Tesla. They develop these wireless charging for medium and heavy duty vehicles, such as buses. And the Tesla Semi may be one of the first vehicles to utilize the technology. Now, it wouldn't be the first for Tesla to be developing a technology without telling the public. Usually, how we'll find out about these things is that someone will ask Elon Musk these questions on Twitter and Elon Musk will randomly reply and say, 
yes, we are developing these technologies. Elon Musk connection that he has with the Tesla fans online and his fans online is more powerful than any other CEO and company founder on the planet Earth. The amount of power that he has in his hand, he literally can say one word and that will either bring up the price of Bitcoin by 20%, 30%, 40%, 50%, 50%, or it can completely destroy the price of Bitcoin by 20%, 50%, and the list goes on. And let me declare that he doesn't directly have to say things. He just has to hint or just mention a word or a subject. So I don't think it's any coincidence that Elon Musk always answers a lot of important questions on Twitter. It gets attention in the right way from the right individuals. It gets the right people talking about these things. He doesn't bring this information to Forbes directly. He doesn't bring it to the biggest publisher directly. No, he tells the fans, the people who are loyal to his company, the people who are buying his products, the people who are following his work and helping him to make the world a lot more renewable. Now in the document, Wave shares the extreme fast charging systems are a subcategory of company primary 250 kilowatt business. However, it aims to develop a 500 kilowatt and a 1 MW capable wireless electric vehicle charger for large scale commercial vehicles using a primary coy embedded in the roadway and a receiving coy within the truck. Power would then be transferred using magnetic fields and that are created by using a resonant inverter to create high frequency AC currents to energize to energize a charging coil. The energy from the coil on the ground would transmit energy to trucks providing a large without plugging in. Now this document itself was actually leaked online. It was leaked on Twitter and it was shared to the entire world. And this is where a lot of the information came from. Just a simple tweet, a simple document that was shared online. And what people are very good at doing, especially Tesla fans, they're really good at connecting the dots. They're really good at connecting different information from different areas to make sense of what it might actually mean. But I do reiterate, Tesla has not confirmed any of this information and neither have waves. While cars can fit in really tiny spaces, so you can have 100 cars charging themselves next to each other, semi-trucks are completely different. These are huge vehicles and sometimes they need help just to reverse. Sometimes they need help just to load a trailer and to unload trailers. They, they need all sorts of help and assistance. They're also huge and bulky. They work very different from cars, which means that fundamentally it wouldn't be the weirdest idea to consider that these vehicles might need completely different ways of being charged because these vehicles have completely different ways of being used. Truck drivers are often traveling hundreds of miles. They usually stop and they usually sleep in their vehicle. So naturally these trucks will have to be charged quite differently and perhaps wireless charging is the way. But I do await to hear more information from Wave and Tesla. Hopefully people will question them and try to get some answers revealed. Now I did have one of my fans online on Monument that questioned me about Arrival having wireless charging implemented in their vehicles. I don't think that's something that they're fully focused on right now. I think that they have a I think that they have a great list of other demands that they're currently trying to work out and currently try to fulfill before they can think about wireless charging their vehicles. And this is not to say that if they don't choose to do wireless charging now, that they won't choose to do it in the future. They can always do it in five years, 10 years, when their business is at a much more sustainable rate and they have a lot more money to invest in various technology. But right now, you gotta understand Arrival is still in the beginning of stage. They are nowhere close to Tesla and considerably Arrival needs a lot more funding to get anywhere close to where I imagine them to be in the next 10 to 20 years. So while the micro factories are indeed a genius idea, I still think that mega factories are still extremely important to the survival of any electric vehicle brand because these vehicles will be in high demand. You want to have enough supply for your demand and in order to do that you're going to need big factories and small factories doing different things at different weights at different speeds to meet different demands and having both actually gives them an advantage that many other companies simply don't have. So while I can't find any information on arrival considering to develop wireless technology for charging their vehicles. 
I do think that this is something that they definitely will consider in the near future. When the people behind the scenes working within these companies, they do decide to announce that actually, we've been considering these things. So thank you for watching this video. This was a short video just talking about electric vehicles, large electric vehicles and wireless charging. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, subscribe. And also, if you'd like me to make a video on Wave, I will, because they charge vehicles wirelessly, big vehicles. We're talking buses. And the last time I check, what are one of the main vehicles that Arrival is developing? It's buses. And they're developing these buses, especially. And recently, they've had a deal. And recently, Arrival has secured a two million deal for purchase of Arrival buses for California Anaheim. And Wave just happens to wireless charge buses. They've got the right technology. So it's fair to say that something like this is definitely on the agenda of Arrival. But it's definitely going to take time to research and develop and to trial this technology as well it will happen slowly and gradually but eventually i think they'll get there but eventually i do think they'll get there so thank you for watching this video subscribe hope you've enjoyed it leave a like leave a comment and let me know what company should i review next thank you for watching